for the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I will have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled in. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what the present time is going to bring for the first week of October. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy, we've got Judgment and Eight of Pentacles. Now Judgment is actually a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are made too fast, made too hastily. So if you're prone to doing such things, it's a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. A spiritual awakening. Now it's with the Eight of Pentacles, which is showing necessary efforts, having a lot on your plate, things that you need to get accomplished. Just know that dedication to the task is important. So if you let it work for its own sake, it can be kind of productive. So you need to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period. Yeah, and I say this because if you look at the picture of the car, Eight of Pentacles is the car below the word pass. This man, it looks like he's probably been working all day and it's going into night. So he's been working nonstop. And it looks like he has no intentions of stopping, even though it's about to become dark. And it's raining. So yeah, those huge, those raindrops are really huge. And he's continuing non-stop. So it's showing a very hard work period. Now this doesn't have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. So basically, the recent past energy between you and the person in this connection judgment clarified by the eight of pentacles so it's showing that um libra you could have been really judgmental towards your person because you felt like they were not putting in the work yeah and i'm gonna say not because we you got we could because we got this judgment card here so it caused the connection to be at a make or break yeah you feel like they weren't doing their part or they just weren't putting in enough energy and effort um, you could have felt like the workload that they had or whatever it is that they do it was interfering with the relationship or it was or you just felt like they weren't giving it their all because the eight of pentacles is about passion motivation being inspired yeah they weren't doing enough so like i said you became very judgmental very judgmental you even started to jump to conclusions and decisions really fast and like i said this caused a make a break a make a break in the connection but that's the recent past energy why don't we move on over and let's take a look and see what we got coming up well for the first week of october we got the five of pentacles and it's with the hangman so the Five of Pentacles, it can point to a time when life could start to feel less than secure. Now, the important thing to remember is that there is always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You may feel alone or start to feel that way, but just know you have the capacity to change that. So, reach out. You could start to feel left out in the cold. As though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. 
but just realize that this is not the case, so do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is, if you need help, is to just reach out and ask for it. Because the help that you need, it will come. So, Five of Pentacles is clarified by the hangman. Now, the hangman shows that uh, you're at a crossroads, one with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You may find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, that does happen. It's definitely a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, or maybe certain things. It could be possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you're going to need to let go of. Just know that any sacrifice you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So, overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interest by being willing to change. So, like I said, coming up, in the, in the coming up days, in the days to come, five of pentacles clarified by the hangman. So, like I said, your person, they're not putting in the work. And it causes you to be judgmental. It causes a make or break in the connection. And now, coming up, it looks like it's going to start to make you feel less than secure in the connection. Yeah, so you might feel left out in the cold. Or you might just start to feel like your person is not treating you the way that you think they should. Yeah, this card is about feeling left out in the cold or just not having enough security. So it causes you to be at a crossroads or just be kind of stuck in your head about what to do. But this hangman is can be about letting go. For example... Letting go of an unattainable situation or lover that brings about the possibility that someone can and will be there for you. That's only one example. The other is that you may need to let go of a particular kind of relationship as being the only way you can be happy. So you just might need to change your way of thinking. You, maybe you have an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. And it brings about new possibilities. So for now, you're just kind of confused. You're confused. And you don't like, you, you, don't, you still don't like the way you feel in this connection. It doesn't give you security. And... That makes you feel left out. And you still don't feel like they're treating you like you think they should. So you're confused. Should you stay? Should you go? You're not sure what to do. Yeah, you must have some emotions and feelings for this person. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Two of Wands, and it's with the Ace of Cups. Now, the Two of Wands, with this card, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the simple, mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. Two of Wands, it does indicate a partnership with another person. This could be business, could be personal, or both. But it does remind us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. And it's with the Ace of Cups, which is beautiful. Ace, Ace of Cups is a very, very powerful, positive energy. 
especially relating to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the aces, it is about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things start to look up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually. Yeah, more than usually at this time. So you should be feeling really good about life in general. Also, it's a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so the challenge two of wands and the ace of cups is clarified with it. So Libra, it looks like with this two of wands here, you could have two options towards the future. Two paths towards the future. Because if you look at the two of wands, the card above the word challenge, there's a wand on the right and there's a wand on the left side of this person. He's more focused and kind of more interested in the one that has his ankle tied to it, which is the one on the left side of Of where you of where you're facing or where you're seeing the cards and then on um, the other one that's on the right side of this card he's got his hand tied to it but he's not looking in that direction so yeah there's some 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 direction that sparks your interest more than the other but you you're trying to make a decision here So you're not able to make up your mind right now because you you got two choices, two options towards the future. And you know one is going to bring you some beautiful new beginning. And if it's with the person that's, that you're dealing with in this reading, um, it takes a turn for the better. That's what the Ace of Cups is about. If it's an existing relationship... It is going to take a turn for the better. Now, the Ace of Cups, it can be about new beginnings in love. So, for some of you, it's a new person. But for most of you Libras, it's with this person that has been making you feel left out in the cold and not treating you the way that you think they should. For some of you, it's that person. But for others... It's, it's a new love, or maybe someone else that you know. So it brings about a new beginning, and it feels like a new love, or just a new, fresh start in the relationship that you're already in. Okay, so, but you're trying to, still trying to decide. Yeah, you're not sure. Should you take this path with this person or go in the other direction? That's why I'm saying some of you, it's a new person. And some of it, it's the person that you're with. So you kind of have to t take this story for how it resonates with you or with your situation. So that is a challenge. Now, why don't we move on over? Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We have the Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Now, the Six of Swords, it brings about resolution, recovery. Um, yeah, Six of Swords. I don't know if you can see these two people in, in a boat. It looks like they just got out of raging waters. And now the waters are still and calm. There's, pra there's almost no movement in that water. Whereas before, or what they just got out of, it was a huge storm. So now these two, they move into calmer waters. There's peace, there's resolution, there's recovery. Yeah, it's a beautiful card, the Six of Swords. 
Yeah, there's no conflict, no fighting. It's just, it's just about moving in the calmer waters. Now, it's with the Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups, like most, if not all the cups in the tarot, is a really good card to see. This one comes with messages. Usually, they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. It tells you that things are going to be going really well. And you're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. It means good news. Especially in the area of matters of the heart. Yeah, so it's likely to be headed your way really soon. So the outcome, Six of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Like I said, you're no longer in, in a storm with this person or the person you're dealing with. You're no longer in a storm with them. You two move in the calmer waters. And this person, they, they become really romantic and sensitive. That's what the Knight of Cups does. And they reach out to you in a very... In, <clears throat> Excuse me, they reach out to you in a very loving and romantic way. So if you haven't heard from your person, take heed, take hold, take heed, they're coming. See this man, he's charging in on a huge fish. He's going to get there to be with you any way he can, even if it's on a fish. Yeah, you'll be hearing from your person if you haven't heard from them in a while. If you're wondering if they're going to reach out, yes, they are. In a very, very romantic way. Very romantic. They, they don't want any more conflict, no more fighting. Yeah, so your person is, uh, I think they got some love for you, Libra. The cups are about love. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all my new subscribers and my old ones. Thank you so much. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. And we're all going to get through it. So stay strong. Be safe. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this does not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. So Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. The next reading. The next reading, the next reading.